Given the frequency I've been posting on this channel with the DJI Mini 2, you would be forgiven for thinking that I have no longer got the Mavic Mini, but that's absolutely not the case. Uh, she's here and she's still going strong. So in this video, obviously with the new regulations coming into place, especially in the UK and all across Europe, basically the you know there is a massive emphasis on visual line of sight. Okay, now. Whilst there is quite still some misconceptions regarding what you can and can't do and what is an acceptable distance, at the end of the day, I thought I would combine this test of some really, really nice strobe lights you can get for the DJI Mavic Mini and of course for the Mini 2 and combine that with my very first ever night flight um, just to see how uh, how we get on. Obviously, this is also, obviously, with it being a night flight as well, you do sort of lose a, a fair bit of visual awareness of, obviously, your surroundings using the camera. So you are relying a lot on the visual line of sight um, and being able to physically see your drone, as well as learning how to rely on your instrument, such as the new compass with the attitude indicator. So actually, I think it's a really good test all round. So let's look into these in more detail. So these are the strobes that are in question. I'm trying to bring them closer to the camera. So that's what they are. They are literally two little strobes. They just sit on the bottom of your arms. Obviously you can buy more. I just decided just to put two on this just for the purpose of this flight. So the way they work, they've got a little sort of battery, little button battery inside there. They're not rechargeable, these ones. Um, but if you look at the kit that I have suggested, which you can see in my new Amazon storefront, but I'll explain that at the end, you can see they come with spare batteries. So to get them to the work, all you need to do is gently twist them on. So you can see they are flashing away and we'll do the same for the other one. So obviously in a bright environment such as this, you might be forgiven for thinking they're not that bright. So. I have actually had these on my drone for quite some time. Um, however, I've never really, I've never ever used them, funnily enough. Um, I bought them to do a night flight test and then never ended up actually doing it. So now is that time. I've gone out and I've done this night test. So what I want to do is I'll show, start the video now and you can see just how far you can actually see these um, when you're actually flying at night. All right, so welcome to my first ever night flight. So as I've already mentioned, I'm testing out the uh, lights, which is obviously... I've just mentioned in the intro. So let's just have a quick look at how bright they are using a mobile phone camera. So as you can see there, they are pretty bright, but not brilliant. They're not exactly uh, crease or anything like that, but they will do the job. So we're gonna put the drone in the air and just see how far away we can see them. Right, so there we are, we are then at 30 meters. I thought that was quite a decent height to start with. And as you can see, those are absolutely more than visible. So we're going to go a little bit higher. Right, so we're getting up to 50 metres now. And as you can see, those are absolutely more than visible, which is great. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go on a flight and I'm just going to see how far away I can see them. We're going to quickly use the new compass. I think that's quite interesting. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to step away from my home point so you can see that uh, blue icon a little bit more. Right, so I am 120, 130 metres away. I can see it perfectly fine. We are getting that wind warning. Like I said, I can see it perfectly fine. So let's try and cut to the footage with the phone. Now bear in mind, this is just a mobile phone. So hopefully you can see it up there. All right, so 176 meters away. So let's see. This attitude indicator is actually coming in really nicely, to be fair. So I can still see the drone. And we are 260 meters away. Looking up at the night sky. It's quite easy to pick it back up and see it again. Obviously, I wish I had the uh, footage. So yeah, I can still see that. And obviously, I'm in a residential area. I'm going to pick the height up a little bit. And it becomes even more visible in the night sky. 420 metres. I can genuinely, no word of a lie, these little couple of quid lights, I can still see it. And I do have quite a lot of light pollution where I am. 
I can still see the drone if I shoot up yep there it is in line of sight I can see it and I'm going to take it to 500 meters just to avoid any grief of everybody now the phone cannot pick this up I do apologize but I can 1000% see the drone absolutely if I go up I can see it literally this will be able to obviously your eyes are so much better than what uh obviously your eyes are so much better than what uh, a mobile phone can do but i assure you i can see this drone and obviously i am reversing up and it's getting brighter kept it in visual line of sight at all times and these lights have really, 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 really helped. Wow, that is amazing. So even at 300 metres, 75 metres up. Yeah, unfortunately, like I say, this is going to be a difficult one to try and film. Mm. I will try my best. I mean, I know where it is. I can see it. I don't know why I've never used these before. So much easier to see. It's a bit misty. I don't know if you can just see that on camera. There we go, look. And we are at 200 meters. You can see that, uh, look, just flashing away. Right, let's bring it over. I think that's quite successful. That's brilliant. Well, they're really good. So what do you think to that? Under normal circumstances, I usually do have help, but last night I was a bit of a one-man recording machine. So you can actually see these strobes from quite some distance. And of course, you know, what maybe didn't come across on camera is where I was stood, there was a lot, a lot of light pollution. So obviously, you know yourself, if you're in a, if you're in your house, for example, and there is a light on inside your house, you will struggle to see outside where it is dark. You need to basically be in a darker environment, so switch that light off, then you can see outside easier. And it's much the same with flying these really so even though the drone was flying up into the sky where it was dark because I had quite a lot of street lighting around me basically because I wanted to sort of light up my landing area um, it meant obviously I struggled a little bit further but either way I mean these were really really bright and I could see them for quite some distance and you, there's just absolutely no grumble and no sort of concerns about that really I mean I did take it up to 500 meters that was specific because of certain people's perceptions of what is considered visual line of sight. So I thought I'm just gonna play it safe for this one and have to basically max it out at 500 meters. But ultimately, unfortunately, a, a mobile phone camera isn't really gonna be able to pick up what the eye can see. I did mention that in a video, but ultimately I could still see that flashing away at 500 meters. But I mean, these essentially were only a few quid in comparison. Um, like I said, I've now set up a new Amazon store exclusively, exclusively for products that I recommend. So rather than posting individual links to products that I suggest and recommend in the comment, sorry, in the description of the video, um, it's just going to be one link. You can go visit that and you can see everything that I recommend and what I've tested or possibly used in my videos for the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. So don't forget to go check that out. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Don't forget. Obviously, I have done a whole host of videos um, on both of these models, the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2, so go check those out. And you might want to consider subscribing because my next couple of videos are going to be back with the Mavic Mini because we're going to be exploring the Litchi app. Now it's out of its beta stage in a lot more detail, and we've got some really cool features to show you on that. So thank you very much for watching, and see you again soon.